so Trump just extended the quarantine another 30 days. Um, I like a lot of the stuff he does. Uh, I don't agree with this at all. Um, an overarching quarantine for the entire country is a perfect example of why the federal government is not good for micromanaging individual states. Um, I can understand quarantining places like New York City, uh, you know, Nashville, places where they're having an outbreak and people live on top of each other voluntarily. Uh, you know, you ha there's no other option for them but to stay home. Um, cause as soon as they go outside, they're breathing each other's air because they live three feet away from the next person. And, you know, they're packed onto subways and buses and 12 wide on the sidewalk here in central Florida. I don't live in New York city. Uh, that, that there's a reason why I don't, I don't want to breathe other people's air for, you know, 20 hours of the day. Um, you know, so quarantining laws or, you know, they don't have to be the same you know, they can be different, you know, some place like here where people can social distance and you still go about their normal lives is it's like no big deal. Uh, some places you can't do that. So an overarching edict of, you know, the entire country is quarantining is just stupid and misguided in my opinion. Um, that being said, uh, you know, Trump just signed the death warrant for a lot of small businesses and especially restaurants. Um, they are not going to make it. Uh, a lot of them aren't. Um, I was talking to my neighbor last night before, before it was even extended. Um, he's a restaurant owner and, uh, a lot of people don't realize this, but restaurants only have about two weeks in cash on hand. Uh, after that they're broke. They were, they rely on that constant source of in income and revenue to exist. Um, so two, maybe three weeks, you know, some of them even less, but uh, two to three weeks is my best guess uh, for a lot of them. So he's hanging on, he's talked to his, his, uh, landlord about, you know, possibly working with him on rent, uh, some kind of relief on that. Um, anyway, you know, it was a, it's a husband and wife and, uh, they, they looked stricken and depressed and defeated because, you know, they've had this restaurant for years and years and years. And uh, some media hyped, uh, you know, pandemic is basically going to take that all away from them. Uh, I have no idea how they are financially outside of the restaurant. But, um, with the, you know, they were hoping that things were going to turn around soon. Um, they would still be a wreck but they could at least weather the storm and eventually recover, uh, keep the business, whatever. And I haven't talked to them since last night. Uh, I would assume it was a very bad night for them, but it's not just them. It's, uh, they're, they're, you know, all these little restaurants in your community are all going through the same thing right now. None of those people are made of money. Restaurant, you know, restaurant profit margins are razor thin. They're, I mean, look at how much competition they have. Um, you know, everywhere you go, there's a restaurant. So these people, you know, they rely on constant business to stay afloat. Um, so that being said, if you're not taking care of these people, doing takeout, uh, trying to have a normal, as normal, uh, you know, eating out regimen as you normally do, uh, you're not going to have any place to eat. You're going to have only chains. You're going to have the Chick-fil-A's. You're going to have the Darden's. You're going to have, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, you're, you're going to be left with giant companies, uh, feeding you garbage food. So if you want these people to survive, get out and do takeout, call them, place an order, let them know that you're thinking about them, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, give these people a little hope. You know, I realize not everybody's in the situation to do this. Um, you know, a lot of people are suffering right now. You know, I'm not trying to give anybody a guilt trip. Some of you are, I'm sure, in a very bad place right now. And I know that. So I'm just talking to the people who, you know, who can. 
Um, otherwise, there's going to be a lot of for sale and for rent signs in the places you used to uh, you used to eat. So, anyway, if you're in a position to do so, you know, get out there and do that, and hopefully the powers that be, you know, come to their senses soon because they are suiciding, you know, the small businesses of the nation right now. You know? Anyway, I'll talk to you later.